Hello Capricorn, it's your turn for the Mercury Retrograde Energy Reading. Uh, I was trying to do a little bit different because we just had a uh, new moon in uh, Pisces and the Mercury Retrograde, um, if you don't know what that is, pretty much the planet's going backwards and things. So a lot of emotions are rising. Um, be careful if you're going to sign an agreement on something or a contract because a lot of things right now aren't very clear on things. So <clears throat> try to wait till after the Mercury retrograde and that is the 28th. So <clears throat> hopefully things are well for you. Um, what I'm going to do this time is basically, I already have the cards out here. I already shuffled them and put them out here so it's a lot easier is um <clears throat> the first few cards are going to be what are you um projecting out into the world what are you trying to do in the world and stuff and then um the bottom cards are what's going on with you and the other cards to the side is what are you trying to tell people what are you trying to tell the world um what do you want to tell someone situation that you're going through and such so let's just jump into it. And this was at the bottom of that. So you got the six of wands. So it looks like you are in a place in life. You are um, regaining balance when it comes to the things in the world that you want to project out. And I feel like a lot of the things, you know, you could have been in a place where there wasn't victory and now you're getting victory. And so, um, with the Nine of Pentacles, um, oh, let me read them first. Nine of Pentacles, the Sun card, um, the Hangman, and the Five of Swords. So I feel like you're kind of like in between, you know, a transition period where you may not have your finances as you would like. So you're still having to wait on things or it's just waiting on something. Because then with the sun card, it shows that, you know, um, maybe things haven't been as happier as they should be. Um, and you're kind of having to rebalance things in a way that um, could benefit you and another person or just... Um, try to make things easier on you I feel like a lot of your issues have been the financial stability you know you want to prepare for the future you want to prepare for things that um, can actually give you you know happiness or this could be implying that you need to get out more um, and get um, not just sunshine but try to <clears throat> take care of yourself try to nourish yourself Cause, you know there's a little child in that you know regain your innocence back and try not to be so serious because it's it's really difficult when you know all these emotions rise up that we don't know how to handle it so the best thing you can do is just you know maybe take a day out just for you and to splurge on you and just do what Capricorn loves doing whatever that may be to you because it looks like with the hangman, you're kind of stuck, you're kind of stagnant right now, or you're in a period of transition where you're trying to unstuck yourself, and you're trying to have to really look within for the answers to find that happiness, and I feel like, you know, to find a common ground of where am I happy, what makes me happy, it can be very difficult and challenging when it comes to you know projecting out this happiness and feeling fulfilled inside and that could be why that's coming up in reverse too is you're not feeling fulfilled in whatever you're doing but also too i feel like you're trying to be as positive as you can be in this situation um and then you have the five of swords so you are trying to cut something out you are trying to remove yourself from something that's got you stuck it could be a job situation it could be your finances that you're trying to unstuck yourself and try to you know balance things out to make it where you feel happy everyone around you feel happy and you're not feeling like 
<clears throat> you have to sacrifice everything just for your happiness. You know, it could be going on your own adventures in life and trying to figure out what is it that makes you happy. And then what's going on inside, you have the Three of Swords, the Moon card, the Three of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. So I'm feeling with this, when it comes to your finances, it has been very rocky in trying to rebalance things. Um, you know, you can't blame everything on the planets, or you can't blame everything on, you know, not getting enough, or not receiving enough, and that could have been this heartbreak, is when it comes to your foundations, when it comes to, you know, everything that you once worked for, may not be getting everything you need, at the time you need. Now, you have the moon card, so I feel like it's really weird, because you have the moon and sun, um... So, you're dealing with a lot of emotions inside, I feel like, when it comes to what makes you happy. You know, being ultimately satisfied with what's going on. And I feel like for some time you haven't been very happy. And it's just, maybe this is a dark side aspect of what's going on inside. That there's a lot of emotions. There's a lot of need to be happy. And it just hasn't really been on top. Um, and then you got the three of pentacles, so I'm feeling with that, and then the hangman on top of that, you know, it's, maybe you're feeling like it's all on you to work something out, a plan, you know, it could have been a third party situation that wasn't working out for you, and in turns, you know, left you stagnant, left you feeling stuck in some way. Or you just had no one to help you in this situation and, you know, it got you off balance. Now with the Nine of Wands, it could be suggesting that a lot of this stuck energy that you're having to let go, you know, is better for you and better for your situation in life, I feel like. So something in your life needs to be either eliminated or cut out. Because it looks like you're being stuck, feeling stuck, that you can't move forward on something and you're having to pretty much, you know, just cut out anything. But it's really hard when it comes to decision makings on what is better for us and what's better for the group. But also too, you know, some of you could be just doing this on your own. So I just suggest, you know, try to take a deep breath if it gets too stressful and Try to really go within and figure out what can balance this situation out. And then you had, for what you want to tell the world, what you want to tell people, you got the Hierophant, or the High Priestess, sorry, in reverse, the Nine of Swords, the Judgment, and the Devil in reverse. So I'm feeling right away what you're trying to tell the world, what you're trying to tell people is... <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm having a hard time talking. <clears throat> um, I feel like, you know, it's not... Because usually this has to do with intuition. So I feel like you really need to speak your truth. Is very important right now. Especially if this has to do with, you know, the throat, the throat chakra. This has to do with... Um, our intuition so maybe it feels like in some way with this heartbreak that you weren't able to speak your truth on a matter that got you feeling depleted got you feeling heartbroken I feel like a lot of you've been struggling with that you know trying to find a stable um, it could be just financial trying to find a very stable balance when it comes to things in life and it looks like you know whatever the heartbreak was you couldn't speak up about it and so it caused a lot of imbalances and it caused a lot of you know feeling stuck and that's kind of probably why the nine of swords you know you just want to get out of this stuck energy i feel like you want to ultimately you know, know what you can do to make yourself happy. And it's really hard when you get in this point, this rut, where you're like, you don't know what to do. 
you know, I just feel like somehow, some way, things are going to go better. I feel like with the sun card, it shows that, you know, things aren't always what they seem or what they appear. But I feel like with the judgment card, you are going to get clarity on how you can work things out with another person and work on um, feeling more stable. And it's really hard, especially if you you feel like you're alone at this and no one understands you. And that could be why this is coming up too. No one really understands you and the struggles and the heartbreak that you're going through. And then you have the devil in reverse. So I'm feeling with the stuck energy that you're going through, you know, you need to free yourself from it. So anything that's hindering you from accomplishing your goals or accomplishing something that you really want in life, I feel like you need to just quiet yourself and try to <clears throat> unblock yourself. Um, whether that is getting out in nature, whether that's, you know, just trying to be still. You know, one thing that I always feel like that has helped me um, is listening to meditation music, is listening to music that will calm me when I'm really stressed out or just um, something of that nature. But I feel like, you know, with this imbalance, especially with the devil showing up, I just feel like with it being in reverse and kind of with a stuck energy feeling that you really need to <clears throat> free yourself from something i don't know what it is exactly but i just feel like you know there's a lot of imbalances here and i feel like it's important not only to speak your truth but it's important to um let people know where you're coming from because i feel like it can be a lonely thing when you feel like that you you can't speak up about something because, you know, maybe you feel like it's pointless. Maybe you don't want to be a heartbreak to someone in some way. You don't want to be a burden because maybe that's what cuts you off with your pentacles, that you didn't want to be a burden in some way. I don't know. I'm just feeling that when the card's coming up. Um, I hope that helps one of you. Bye-bye.